This segment is brought to you by the 2013 Ford Fusion. I want to put this thing together so I can start using it. <laughs> All right, well. I mean, As he just tosses things out. I have a knife. All right. Let's get building. And I have a screwdriver. Well, the knife is so that you can bleed at the end of this because you're, you're not building a well, computer until you, someone's though. bleeding. That's just you. Stabby, stabby? Yeah. You, you're always the one that gets the stabby stabs. I'm the one that just laughs and goes, eh, eh. All right, so we got that. Got the Kingston. Look at this, it's got cute little Wi-Fi ears. It's like a, huh? What? Yeah, it's got what? little Wi-Fi antennas for the, it, uh, there you go. Oh wait. Now I've got a thumbnail for the show. There we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Jodici. Now Paul has bloopers. <laughs> And that right there oh my God. is why we don't want to strip screws. Oh. But uh, safety first. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, now we can take it off. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Aha. And, and to get the right metal shards out of here now. It's not going to escape. Are you sure? Oh cool, it comes with an eSATA. That's nice. Your SATA seem to be right angled, so let's see where the ports are here. Okay, good. We can. Are they at the top? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be easier to plug these in now than later. Well, you can never have too much RAM. <laughs> you can never have too much RAM. It drives me crazy that Android devices still only have like a gig of RAM each. I know. I mean, the, the Note 2 has two gigs and that's like... The Note 2? Yeah, but, wow. but even then, it's like, if RAM is so cheap, why don't we have like, you know, Why don't we just like max it out? Yeah, max it out. I but I guess agree. that's so that they still have something to sell us next year. <laughs> they always can do the upgrades. Now you sound like Apple. Actually, that would be really cool if you could upgrade the RAM in your, uh, in your phone. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, if you're really handy with the soldering iron, you could, but then the question is, can you address it? Can we just cut it off? No! No? Are you no. sure you don't want your no. PC speaker? No! PC speaker's gonna go! No! Oh. Yeah, sorry okay. about that PC speaker. <laughs> Today we're sponsored again by Ford. You know that we're tech geeks and we've told you about some of the really amazing technology found in the 2013 Ford Fusion. Today I'm checking out some cool driving tech that will make your life easier out on the open road. The Fusion comes equipped with Bliss, which is the blind spot information system. Bliss is designed to use radar at the rear of the vehicle in the rear quarter panels to help detect a vehicle in a blind spot zone. If a vehicle is detected, the system alerts you with a warning light in the appropriate side view mirror. This car also has the lane keeping system. A camera mounted behind the windshield watches road lane markings to determine the vehicle's position and detect a lane departure. The system can operate during the day or the night. The lane keeping system alerts you through vibrations in the steering wheel, which kind of mimic a rumble strip should the system detect any kind of unintentional lane departure. Now these are just two of the different features that you'll find in the 2013 Ford Fusion. Thanks again to Ford for sponsoring the show today and for their commitment to technology.
All right, so that was kind of an interesting build. I've never had this problem before, but half of the memory didn't read and there was no video output. That was kind of weird. Yeah, so the motherboard may say like, oh, we support 8 trillion gigs of RAM. Which but is why I bought check... 8 trillion gigs of RAM. <laughs> well, check check for firmware updates. Uh, I'm sure you just are a BIOS update a BIOS away update. from yeah. having both sticks work. But actually, in my experience building PCs, that's the number one issue. Really? Uh, booting up if it's not happy, it's finicky RAM. Finicky RAM. That's who, good who to know. Who are these guys? Oh, well, it's some off brand. Mushkin. Yeah, yeah it's, I've heard of yeah, Mushkin at least. Mushkin. Yeah. Yeah. They're not my favorite, but you know, I like, I, I usually go like for OCZ like and Corsair. Yeah, OCZ is awesome. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what do you guys like? Um, yeah, I want to know what you guys like. If you guys have built HTPCs in the past, um, this is my first one, and it was pretty good for a three hundred dollar PC. And I can't wait to start messing I mean, with it. I thought it. we had one at the but... hack house, or was it just like somebody's spare no. rig? It was yeah. a spare rig. Yeah, it might have been like evil server. Well, that's or also another good thing to point out, though, is if you're upgrading, this is a perfect way to recycle that. Yes. Uh, which kind of lends. Just us... bring it downstairs to the living room. And, and I this totally does work, right? Let's agree. Hit it. Hopefully. Yay. <laughs> now that we fixed the RAM issue. But um, I also wanted to mention what operating system should I use? Hmm. Well, you don't have a CD-ROM in here. So, no, not yet. Uh, so if you're going to install Windows, you're going to need one of those. Yes. yes. But I can just use an external one. We have plenty of those sitting around. Yeah. But um, I was actually thinking Windows might be the best option. Oh, you're going Windows 8 now? Shannon Morris, Windows 8 know, lover. I, I don't know if I'll go Windows 8. Maybe I will, because I have checked it out. And there's a few things that I like about it, most likely I most things I don't. You know how but, I feel about Windows. Yeah. <laughs> it is the best operating system for this rig. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Are you serious? Yeah, well, Why do you say that? We showed off uh, a couple weeks ago how to get Netflix running in Linux, yeah. and it's a total hack. Um, and from experience, trying to get things like Amazon on demand mm -hmm. and the YouTube uh, store, whatever it's called, where you can rent movies, the you know all yeah. the different marketplaces, all the different. There's so much great material available. Uh, but you know, there's no Linux capability. It's not just Linux. It's it's Linux, Google TV, Chrome, yeah. Android, mm -hmm. uh, you name it. <laughs> yeah. And it's just a fact of the industry is you know 90% of the world or something. I'm making that up. Runs yeah. Windows, and so that's what you support, and then you support everything else. And so if you're looking for something that's going to do um, Hulu Plus and and the Amazon and all of those, and right? Sharing Don't the get me wrong. I'm not telling you run Internet Explorer, and I'm also saying no. <laughs> you know use Windows best practices yes, here. Exactly. I'd even put it on a separate network, but you know that's just me. <laughs> um, yeah, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, one other thing is I have a gaming PC at home. It's currently a Windows 7 PC, and I want to be able to share media between them yeah. and not have any kind of compatibility issues between operating systems. Well, every, I mean, you could just do a Samba share or an FTP or an NFS or a million I different could. ways to share data. It's yeah. amazing. It's 2013, and there's still new ways to share data. <laughs> there always are. Just getting a file from <laughs> one place to another. I won't even give you the rant I had about getting a file from my <laughs> Note 2 to my Nexus 7 without an internet connection. I also um, want to check out XMBC. XMBC, X XBMC. XBMC. <laughs> XBMC would be a great front end. They yeah. make it for Windows, Mac, Linux. And it's just, uh, it's software. It can run on any operating systems. There's Android, too. There's also a version for the Apple TV. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah, pretty much anything. And they made it strictly for home theater PCs, so it would probably work best in this kind of environment. So I don't know. Maybe I'll check that one out. Yeah, this is like the caveat. It's like when it comes to the entertainment stuff. Yeah, you know, it's, like it's video completely games different from Now that's changing. PCs. That's totally changing. And I'm not saying like stop pushing these companies to provide Linux support. Yeah. You know, I'm like constantly on Amazon's case, like, hey, get the video on demand working. Yep. Um, but that said, if you're gonna game and if you're gonna mm -hmm. do this kind of HTPC entertainment stuff, it, it depends. I mean, you really got to look at like what are the services that you care about because mm -hmm. a lot of times they're like the options? where they're like, oh, we're sorry, we detected that you're not what we want to see. Yep. You know, and you can do a, like it's a like, bunch of browser ah, I really agent wanted to give you my business, but oh well. Yeah. So, what do you guys like? I want to know what operating system you guys chose. Yeah, as am I well totally off years? base? Yeah, are up. we? Because <laughs> I kind of want to go Windows too. It's kind of I don't know. It's a little weird to say that on Hack Five. <laughs> it's okay. I had to do it for a Photoshop Premiere thing recently, and oh. I'm not proud of it, but you know, it doesn't mean that I don't Photoshop. have love for yeah. open source goodness. That's true. Well, I know this has been a very long yeah. episode. Yes. Uh, but lots of awesomeness. And quite festive. I love and nobody you. got nobody was bleeding. Nobody's bleeding, surprisingly. I even use power Maybe tools. you don't, shouldn't poke that towards you. Okay. No, just put it away. There All you right. go. Put it, just put it back in your pocket, but make sure it's closed. 
Okay. <laughs> So we value your feedback as usual. You can email us feedback at hack5.org. And while you're over at hack5.org, go whatever. ahead and hit the store link, and then you can find all the cool, fun stuff we've got in Hack Shop. Yay! So head over there. we got fun new things. I'm sure there's fun All of our sales are ending really soon, so get them before yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Why are we going to do that? Well, we got some Hack 5 special sales, like the free coin and oh, all okay. the free yeah, swag yeah, yeah, yeah. that right, you right. get with medias. That's totally the case. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, those are ending on Christmas. And stay so tuned for fun and exciting hack shop goodness in the coming weeks. Uh, so, with all of that, um, in your kitchen. I'm Listen Shannon Morse. <laughs> and we are reminding you to, to trust, trust your, your technologist. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Au revoir. Or happy holidays. Hanukkah. Bielkema. Bielkema. I forget how to say it in Japanese. Bielkema. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas.